Scientists have just discovered a metabolite in the gut that mediates the negative effects of psychological stress on stem cells in the intestines, likely contributing to many cases of irritable bowel syndrome and even inflammatory bowel diseases, one of which I've struggled with. And this metabolite is also found at high levels in patients with mental health disorders, including bipolar and depression, who also have high rates of gastrointestinal issues like IBS, IBD, constipation, diarrhea. But luckily, the scientists also discovered an opposing metabolite who will become the hero of our metabolic story in this video. And I'm also going to show you how to access this hero but let's put that aside for now. Anyway, this hero metabolite can fight the negative effects of stress on stem cells. But before I tell you about it, I want to first talk more about the villain. And before I do that, I need to arm you with some necessary background information. Your intestines are a dynamic place, cellularly speaking, where cells die and are reborn from the ashes like a phoenix. Kind of Kidding there, I mostly like Harry Potter references. But in all seriousness, your intestines are a hotbed for stem cell growth and differentiation into new healthy cells. This is needed to renew and refresh the gut lining, keeping your tummy in operating tip-top condition. And failure of stem cell differentiation can contribute to poor gut health, IBS, and even IBDs. And psychological stress can impact gut health, and patients with mental health disorders have higher rates of gut dysfunction, including constipation, various irritable bowel syndromes, or various inflammatory bowel diseases like ulcerative colitis, again, which I suffered with and I'll circle back to in time, so this video is really personal to me. Anyway, studying the microbiomes of these groups of patients with mental health disorders and gut disorders to look for common culprits in terms of gut bugs is kind of tricky because different bugs serve different functions in different gut ecosystems. So what you really want to do if you can is look for common microbiome produced metabolites, the molecules made by bugs that actually execute the either positive or negative effects, here mostly negative. And scientists have just found one, the villain of the story, indole-3-acetate, or IAA for short. In short, they discover that IAA is able to poison intestinal stem cells by impairing the ability of those stem cells' mitochondria to produce energy. This leads to intestinal stem cell dysfunction and gut dysfunction overall. So backing up and reinforcing the big picture here, Using a necessary mouse model, they first show that psychological stress via activation of the fight or flight branch of the nervous system causes changes to microbiome function to increase levels of a metabolite, IAA, and then IAA harms energy production by mitochondria in intestinal stem cells, leading to stem cell failure and potentially increased rates of irritable bowel syndrome and inflammatory bowel diseases with stress. And this IAA molecule is also elevated in human patients with mental health conditions who likewise have elevated levels of gastrointestinal upset. So you can see how a picture is coming together here. But we aren't done with the nuance. And it will be important for you to hang in for just one real deep dive before I introduce our hero. Okay, I said IAA poisons mitochondria, but how? Well, mitochondria can use various fuel sources for energy, and one key fuel source for intestinal stem cells is glutamine. In stem cells, glutamine can be converted to something called alpha-ketoglutarate, and alpha-ketoglutarate is a key intermediate in what's called the TCA cycle, or the Krebs cycle, which occurs in mitochondria and is essential for mitochondrial energy production. That's where alpha-ketoglutarate is in the cycle, right there. And what researchers found is that IAA poisons mitochondria by impairing glutamine metabolism, leading to mitochondrial harm and energy failure. However, the researchers found that you could directly supplement alpha-ketoglutarate, the opposing metabolite who is the hero of our story, and rescue stem cell function. For what it's worth, glutamate uh, supplementation actually didn't work 
but direct supplementation with alpha-ketoglutarate, that key mitochondrial metabolite, actually did work. And this is really remarkable. Now, these are early but extremely promising data, and I'm sure the next step is to test the efficacy of alpha-ketoglutarate supplementation on people, humans with mental health disorders and co-occurring issues, or just patients with IBS or IBDs that may be exacerbated by stress. So truth be told, I am very excited about these data. I'm myself, by my nature, a really highly wound, tightly wound, triple A person who ever since the end of college has been struggling with gut issues. Now the worst of my gut issues, my inflammatory bowel disease, my ulcerative colitis, has been helpfully managed with a ketogenic diet, which incidentally also generates beta-hydroxybutyrate to support intestinal stem cell renewal, so kind of convergent pathways here. However, I still struggle with some upset stomach and IBS-type symptoms, especially during plentiful periods in my life that are full of stress. So from now on, I've decided I'm going to be using targeted supplementation with alpha-ketoglutarate, especially during travel and stress, because I figure it's safe and I see a huge potential upside without any potential downsides. I really see an upside for my quality of life. And I also figure I'm not alone. These problems are so, so common, which is why I did some homework on the most trustable alpha-ketoglutarate supplements and then asked the company if I could provide you a discount code so any of my viewers who happen to struggle with problems like IBS, constipation, diarrhea, which I can struggle with sometimes, you can try the same supplement I'm trying. So the company is called Do Not Age, and they have a great 400 milligram calcium alpha-ketoglutarate supplement, which you can access with discount code NIC10 for 10% off. Of course, this does not replace stress reduction and you don't need to buy the supplement, but I know practically for myself, I'm not escaping stress anytime soon. An MD PhD also was not very good for my health, I can tell you, but I can learn to deal with it better. And I also love the biohacking N equals one lifestyle. Anyway, with that, stay curious and mind your gut health.